come on, you get ocean green. Hello and welcome back to our sunny Glasgow. This time I'm on the other side of the city. Last night you saw Celtic come out champions in the Glasgow Cup final. Tonight it's more of the same. We're going to see Celtic once again. But tonight it's a very, very special occasion. We're here for the first ever trial of the Celtic end. What is the Celtic end you may ask? Well. The Green Brigade and the boys, Celtic's two ultras, have put forward a proposition to improve the Celtic match day atmosphere. They want the Celtic end in the Jockstein lower and they believe this will improve the atmosphere dramatically. Tonight, Celtic have given them their first trial to see how it goes. Tonight, we will see another record broken at Celtic Park as Celtic women face Glasgow City in a huge matchup in the women's title race. With only two games to go, Celtic are five points behind Glasgow City. However, win this game tonight and they will only be two points. With two games to go after that, then it's all to play for. This game is huge and I understand why the Green Brigade and the boys have chosen tonight to trial the Celtic end. I mean, look at this weather. Celtic Park is in the background. We are just heading up to it. Let's go and see what the fans think ahead of tonight's crunch match. What a day it is here in Glasgow. I am absolutely sweltering. I might even get a tan off this, you never know. <laughs> Wow. Liam, big occasion tonight. Aye. The Celtic end. What's your thoughts? I think it'll be brilliant. Like you see, the British are dominant. They'll get a yellow wall. And it would, it would be brilliant for Celtic Park, I think. Uh -huh. Like, after the game, it would be the same atmosphere. And the boys in the Green Brigade as well, they didn't used to like each other. There used to be a lot of problems. They've actually come together. Aye. They're all friends now, which is amazing to see. Aye. And they're going towards a big cause. I think that's big for Celtic as well. I think it is, aye. Um, to create that overall atmosphere would be brilliant because obviously they're opposite end of the Green Brigade. And I take it from both sides, it'll be brilliant, but together it'll be even better. Glasgow City, top of the table tonight, tough opposition. Celtic, obviously, five points off. If they get the result tonight, brings it within two. Do you think they can do it tonight? I mean, you've seen Ange do it. I mean, it's not impossible. And um, obviously, last week was a disappointing result against Rangers, but I think Celtic, they could do it tonight, aye. Lucas and Clayton, am I right? Yeah. Boys, tonight, the first ever trial of the Celtic end. It's a big occasion, isn't it? Yeah. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel excited for it. Do you think it would help the Celtic atmosphere? Yeah. Good stuff. Definitely. Right, wee man, what's the score going to be? 2-0. What's the score going to be? <laughs> Boys, tonight it's the first trial of the Celtic end. How do you feel about it? I feel like it could bring a massive atmosphere to Celtic Park, especially during the massive games, especially Champions League nights, old firms, anything like that. We see it in Europe, Bayern Munich, British Dortmund, as somebody just spoke about there. Do you think it is needed in Celtic Park? Sometimes I, especially when you're playing against a massive team, Celtic are usually the 12th man, so you get some, some extra support behind us, which is amazing. Tonight, Glasgow City, opposition, can Celtic do it? 100%. Yeah. Aye, easily. Aye, ah, it'll be all success for Celtic this week. I was at the cup final last night against Rangers at Ibrox, so I'm hoping I can bring success again to Celtic. Hope so, mate. Hope yeah. so. Guys, thank you. <laughs> right, we have the Celtic soccer casuals. <laughs> What's the score going to be tonight? 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. <laughs> I like that, do you know what you thought for yourself? I like that. Two oh, terrible. Two oh. The one big difference about women's football is the atmosphere. You seen it last night with all the kids there, and tonight it's more of the same. There's a lot more women here. It's very inclusive. There's men, there's women. It's brilliant to see. It's a great family atmosphere. What a day I see in Glasgow. That's obviously helping it as well. Let's get inside the ground. Half an hour to kick off. This should be good. Right, we're on. Let's go and get a seat. Wow. Look at 
look at that. Come on, you girls in green. Right, let's go and get our seat. And with the noise, as usual. Wow. First experience for the Celtic fans of the Celtic end. And this does look amazing. You see it all over Europe. The Celtic are going to try and get it here now. You get the boys over there. You get the Green Brigade here. Joining forces. And here come your teams. Celtic and Glasgow City. For a huge game. Look at this support. Wow. Just a minute for this crowd. A record breaking crowd here tonight at Celtic Park for a women's game. This is going to be a good one. What a noise. Let's go. Kick off, let's go. This must be some feeling for their players playing in front of this crowd. The Celtic players will relish this chance of a lifetime. Thousands of fans. This is what they wanted. The Celtic end and look at the spectacle. Glasgow City run 1 now. Huge goal for Glasgow City. There's an amazing pull over there. That is a massive goal for the league leaders. <laughs> Getting the main stand involved. Fantastic. Getting everybody involved. Fantastic. This is just remarkable. Look at this atmosphere for a women's game. Wow, 
pressure now because we're shitting in. Good luck. This game's been end to end. Very high pace. I'm impressed. It's a shot. Chance for Celtic before the half. Oh, hit that! Oh! Checked right. Oh, that's better from Celtic. Half time here. 1 0 Glasgow City. 9,553 here tonight. What a crowd that is. Corner Celtic. Started on the front foot the second half. Food stuff right up to the banner. <laughs> Fantastic. Food <laughs> oh. stuff right up to the back. Hit that. Oh! This place is erupted. If it wasn't loud already, look at it now. Jack's over it. Oh. oh! Wow! You like putting screamers now, aren't it? minutes to go, Celtic need a goal if we're going to have any chance of winning this league. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Celtic pressuring. Can they get a goal? And this title race. Celtic take the lead. Ten minutes to go. Oh, she's in, she's in. Game over now. Look at the scenes. Definitely game over now. What a huge result for the women. Two games to go, two points behind. And this crowd have definitely played their part. The smoke bombs are out. <laughs> They're going full party mode now. Look at this place. Chance of our going to win the league. 
it's looking very lightly. What a performance tonight. What an atmosphere it's been tonight. Scoring these girls onto a huge victory in the title race. And there we go, full time whistle. The girls have done it. Look at this, even after the full time whistle. These fans don't stop. Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> oh. That is amazing to see. Manager of Rana Lund. Well, I'm just walking back to the car now and I think it's safe to say that was a successful night. You can even hear fans in the background still 15 minutes after the game's finished singing that was a successful night indeed. The Green Brigade and the boys, what a show you put on tonight and I definitely think Celtic need to consider this now. What an atmosphere it was in there tonight. You would not have known it was a women's game. As for Celtic women, well, they're two points behind Glasgow City with two games to go. This title race is going right to the wire. Thank you for joining me on this one. If you've not already, click that subscription button and I'll see you in the next one.